Welcome back to Ravenport on Farming Simulator 19 for episode 8 with me, Mr. Sealy P. In this episode, I'm going to start off with a contract I haven't done before. I know I've just bought the harvester, and I th the obvious thing would be to go and do some harvesting contracts. But in the vein of doing something different and trying to, you know, make it interesting, uh, I have got available a bailing contract. I haven't done a bailing contract before. What's good about this one as well is it's 10,000, which is, you know, that's great. To lease the equipment, it's only 1,230. Um, so it says mow the grass in field 9, then bale the grass, wrap it make silage bales, take the bales to the bum. That could be quite a long process. Oh, I just suddenly thought, actually. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the advice of a couple of people as well. I've got my fertiliser sprayer, but it was suggested that for a lot of the fertilising jobs, if I go for... Um, where are we? Fertilising... My mind... Oh, there, fertilising technology... Um, to get one of the Kuhn Axis 40.2M-EMC-W. Um, it's only 20000 to buy, which I could afford now. Um, and that's got a 24 metre spread, and it doesn't get through. I have noticed with the fertilising stuff now, it doesn't get through the, the spray or the solid fertiliser as quickly. And that's an absolute boon for making money. Um, what I've also decided I'm going to do is I'm going to do the field um, that's all grass. I think it's field nine. I'm going to do an absolute ton of bales off that. I'm going to wrap them and I'm going to take them to the BGA. So there's a few things that are going to happen. I think I'm, I'm going to take on that harvesting contract. Um, sim uh, not harvesting, baling. I hope it's an auto loader and not... Uh, it just says plus five. I don't know what those plus five are. Uh, right, lease items. Well, we're going to soon find out, aren't we? Field 9 is where? Field 9, please don't be a massive field. Field 9. No! Oh, you muppet. <laughs> oh, no. What have I done? That was the field I was going to turn. I was going to do a field flip on field 9, wasn't I? It just suddenly dawned on me. Oh man alive! Seriously, you know what? I'm gonna ca I'm gonna cancel the I'm gonna cancel the contract. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> it's gonna be failed. Yes, complete. It's gone. Okay. Uh, I hope that field's now still okay for me to use. Otherwise, I'm gonna be devastated. <laughs> Anyway, right, so that's what I'm going to do then. Ignore everything I just said. I've got 26,000. I'm going to lease some equipment then. Sorry, I know it's all gone a little bit haywire. Um, that was not my intention. Bailing technology. Now, it, well, somebody did say to me, I've had a few comments left saying, I leased when I did that bailing contract, the, the, the field flipping, sorry, on the grass field, the roll belt, and then I leased the um, round bale stacker. Those two combined came in at about three and a half thousand, four thousand. And somebody said to me, why didn't you just lease the Coon Baylor wrapper? That to lease is 6,080. So it was almost double the price to lease that. And I was trying to save money. It was also asked, somebody said to me, how do you change the foil color? Well, down the bottom it says change color and foil color is just underneath the capacity. If I press triangle, it gives me the options for what foil color I want on that. And that's the same for any of the wrappers, as far as I'm aware. Um, so to keep um, Sealy EG happy, I think I'm going to go with the uh, pink wrap. We'll go with pink wrap. And I'm going to lease that. I've already got my mower, so I'm going to get up to field nine. I'm going to mow, I'm going to bale and wrap all in one hit. Then I will lease the collector, and then we'll go from there. And I want to make a big chunk of money very, very quickly. You don't need to worry about... I say you don't need to worry about. I'll show you a little bit when I start off, but realistically, I've already done bailing and wrapping on one of my episodes. What comes after is going to be the bit that's more relevant, I think. Um, so you'll see what I mean. Um, I didn't just lease that already, did I? No, my balance is still 26,000. So let's lease that. Now, I'm also fully aware that because of the spread of the... Um, I'm going to make that money back, don't worry. I'm convinced of that now. 
I'm gonna make that money back. Let's get in my very dirty Tractardis. <laughs> I like that name, I think that's brilliant. Alex, you're a star. An absolute star. I'm knocking my equipment all over the place, but cool. Grab the mower. Now because the mower's different, and I said that in the episode uh, that I did, that now the mower spreads the stuff rather than giving you a nice little neat swath. So the um the, the best option that a lot of people are going with is mowing first with the triple mower set up, then coming back and wind rowing and then bailing. I don't mind doing it this way and then just kind of collecting it all. What I've just suddenly realised is I might not have enough money to buy that parcel of land. It may not give me enough. Um, I keep going to the wrong menu. Uh, click on that. So get that parcel of land is 495. Can I borrow 495? <gasps> right, let's borrow. I need 495. Come on. Please don't stop before 495 or I'm going to cry. This was how I'm going to make money in this episode. 400 and... Come on. <sighs> Gone to 510. I cover everything that way. So back into that menu. Click on that, click on that. And bye. Now I said in whichever episode it was... Uh, about the fact that, and it was amusing, I said that people had been suggesting or had mentioned that they were worried that giants may adjust the field situation so that when you buy a field it costs a certain amount, when you sell it you you make a little bit of a loss. I had so many people commenting saying that that's ridiculous. In, in, in the real world, um, land only goes up in value. I was just, it was just amusing. I just said what people were thinking. I, I didn't say it was happening or that I thought, you know, it just, it's been discussed. People were concerned that was going to happen. I think they were worried that it's being viewed as a kind of a glitch, a kind of a, uh, not a glitch, a, a clever hack to get around the system and that they would try and close that up and stop people doing it. I, you know, I understand. Yeah, don't worry. It's all good. It's all good. So, I'm going to mow. I'm going to bail, I'm going to wrap, then I'm going to lease the um, uh, T127, so rather than load them onto my bail trailer, which took quite a while, I enjoy doing it, don't get me wrong, I, manually loading bales I love, I, I'm better at doing square bales than round, to be fair, um, but it was quite fun, I really enjoyed it, but I think if I'm going to get more bales off this field, I need to be going faster, I need to be doing more um, I think it's up this way, isn't it? Yeah, I need to do more. Um, so that's the plan. I don't know how many I'm going to get off this, but what's going to happen is I'm going to do all of that, and what I'll do is I'll see you in a little while when I've got all the bales done. Um, because like I say, I did the, what, that on that other episode when I did Rapper's Delight, um, so people don't want to see another whole episode. But I don't then suddenly want to jump up in money, and people go, hang on a minute, how have you made... I won't say how much because I don't know how much I'm going to make. I hope it's a lot, but it might not be. Um, so, yeah, I, I suppose what I could have done is sprayed the field, couldn't I, to improve the yield, but. Uh, I might do that. Well, I'll see you at the end anyway, and I'll explain what I've done if I do. So, I decided to improve the yield. Why not? Go back, grab my fertilizer sprayer and give it a going over with a bit of fertiliser. My money's gone down a tiny bit because when I went in to put narrows on, so I obviously didn't want to destroy the grass while I was doing this, um, I had a repair fee. I think because it needs to go into a certain bracket, the repair thing needs to drop far enough that it registers as a repair from the menu. But if you go into the store while you're reconfiguring or changing things over, um, I just click on the repair button every time if it only costs me like 50, 60, 57, 30, whatever it costs. I'm kind of keeping up with it that way. Um, which actually works out quite good. Fertiliser situation is going very well. That accountancy problem still doesn't seem to have been fixed so I have been uh, I have been able to sell back some fertilizer and uh, occasionally and done a right out of it if you know what I mean 
not my fault if they're not checking the IBCs when they get returned. So, anyway, this will continue. Uh, I'm going to get the rest of this field sprayed, then I'll get on with my uh, my mowing, baling, wrapping, and then I'll see how many bales I've got. So the next time I see you, or there might, there might be a short little time lapse of me, because obviously I'm using a different baler wrapper, the Coon one, that was a DLC in FS17, and now it's standard in-game, which is pretty cool, because I know a lot of people didn't get all of the DLCs on FS17, and I know sometimes I would do videos and people would ask me, what baler is that, where have you got this from? Where have you got that from? And if they didn't have the DLC, they couldn't obviously use it, which I, you know, I totally get that. So it's nice they're back in game. Anywho, I'll see you later on. I need to slow down my uh, cruise control. Well, that took some time. It's 4.30 and we've got a few bales. Now I was, like I say, I was told that someone had got 40 or 40 off this, 30 off field one, whichever way around. So I sprayed the field first and I've cut everything I possibly could on this plot. I got, I think, 82, 84, something like that. Um, they're everywhere. Top of the hill here where it's fairly flat. Bottom of the hill I found little space because on as the way the field kind of dips away they were rolling away. So they're all over that side where it's fairly flat. Yeah, about 80 odd. So um, we're going to make some money. We are really going to make some money. So here's phase two of the plan and I hope this works. I hope this doesn't do the whole this land is not yours. I'm not going to do anything to the land. I'm just going to come and collect the bales. So next phase of this plan is this. I go back into this option, go back to that plot, select it and sell it back. Fantastic. I now scroll across to the loan page and I repay every penny I borrowed. Oh no, hang on. No I don't. I was going to, but then I just suddenly thought what I was going to do. Uh, 
So here's the next step. Yes, bear with me. BGA, the plot of land the BGA is on is 384. So what I'm going to do now is buy the plot of land with the BGA on, which means I'll, I'll own that, which means I can sell there, which means I can now take my 80 plus bales over to the BGA to sell. I'm going to take them all over first and place them, put them, stack them all down, um, which will be fine because I thought well, if I move them eight at a time onto a plot of land that's not mine, if you try to unload it says this land is not yours etc etc. So let's buy that. So we've just basically taken our loan, we bought field nine, did all of our baling and wrapping, sold that field, bought the biogas, move the bales across the biogas, we'll sell all the bales at the biogas, then sell the biogas land back again. So we kind of flip, 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 so I'm, you know, bouncing around. So do we want to buy it? Yes, we do. So next step then is to take this back. Obviously my fertilizer sprayer and front tank are still sitting there, but I can come and get those later. Take the mower back, take this back, grab the Ursus T127, come back and then start clearing those bales off field. The BGA is literally just over there. So I haven't got to go far with it, and that field hasn't got a crop in, so actually, to be fair, I can go across that now. I've got narrows on anyway, so I'm not going to do any harm. Um, so, again, next time you see me, hopefully, I'll have the T127 and I'll be ferrying bales, whoop, bales across to the BGA. I think that's going to work. It's taken me, well, it took me a lot of time to do all those, but I kept going and going thinking, wow, okay, I'm getting more, I'm getting more, and the field just went on and on. That's a, that's a really good one to do. So for those people, and there were quite a few that did message me and say, buy field nine, buy field one, it's got tons of grass on it, good call. And I think my, um, not necessarily my OCD, but that kind of panic setting, that when I bought the, uh, the harvester at the end of the last episode and thought, yep, you know what, I'll buy a harvester, Looking at the corner and thinking I've only got 26,000 left, I kind of went into panic mode and thought I need to get more money, I've got to get some more money back in the bank, um, just as a kind of buffer. So uh, that's what we're going to do. I'll see you back up there in a moment with the T127. So like I said, we're not manually stacking this time, we're going to auto stack. What I love, looking at that view as I'm driving back across, the sun going down that direction, is they actually look shiny, they look plastic wraps, look at that. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. First load of eight, coming over. Should be able to put them down. What I've noticed in a couple of tests, when I've been doing stuff on my test map, and the, this uh, always used to be a bit finicky when you unloaded round bales, it gave a little bit of a kick on FS17 um, used to get a little bit of a nudge and it felt like they were going to topple over. I haven't noticed that with this version so fingers crossed. Now what should happen as well huh, what should happen um, because of that glitch or whatever you want to call it about lifting bales someone said once you've put them through a bale collector you can pick them up. So what should happen now Technically, I should be able to pick them up. Although, yeah, how am I going to pick up the top one? That's not going to work, is it? 
I suppose I could just topple them over, but that seems a bit a bit much, doesn't it? I suppose I can do kind of just no. Nope. <laughs> of course not the top over, go on. There we go. Right, so what should happen now then? Let's close that down. Why won't that go down? That's weird. There we go. Got there in the end. So these should be able to be picked up. Like so. And if the trigger's right, about there, gone. 4,000 litres gone through. I won't get paid till midnight, but it does mean. <laughs> nice. And if what I have been told is correct, I should get should get two grand per bale which is going to make this incredibly profitable it's going to seem really bad once i finish doing all, ba all the bales and i pay back the loan i'm going to be down to next to nothing which means i have to carry on doing some more contracts which is not a problem but at midnight payday that's working perfectly i know yeah a four thousand litres of silage bale of course in the real world there's no way you'll be able to pick this up um, and as far as I'm aware as, as part of the uh, the patch the BGA on PC has been sorted out the issues so unloading should be a lot easier anyway so you shouldn't have to be doing this manhandling bells around but there you go that's first load done I'm going to go and get the next one and carry on until I've done all of them um, and it should be that same but I'm sure it's about 80 the problem is I recorded it um, and then my family all decided the first weekend in December we've always done it um, Christmas decorations go up so we've been putting up our Christmas tree and all getting very festive um, so I saved it and came out but obviously once I came back out the bales that I did in that session got mixed with the bales I did the other day so I can't remember oh no, I did 19 the other day didn't I I did 19 so technically then created bales 102 so 83 I've done 83 yeah 83 that's not bad going at two grand a pop that should be 164 grand shouldn't it oh, ho, ho, ho. anyway see you in a bit Right, rather than do one load at a time, <laughs> I thought I'd get them all over here. So I've got <laughs> makes 19 the other day look ridiculous. Uh, one stack here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because I've already done one stack and three there. Now I'm not sure if I can pick this, these up because it says you can pick them up. Will it let me take one? kind of so what I'm going to do now spend a bit of time uh, not doing that hurling them in like so what I will do is probably speed up the time when I normally do anything at the bunker silo if I'm selling silage 
when that hits 50,000 you can't put any more in it takes a little while to chug, a, chug away so what I generally do is turn the time up to times 5 and, uh, and then it can process quicker and I can get them all in and then hopefully what will then happen is you just suspend reality for a moment while I'm picking them up just you know like I say just go with it All right, push that over there we go this is by far the quickest way of getting these in here so thanks to a few people Alien Jim and like DJ Goham I mentioned the other day, golf cart jockey, for finding where the trigger was, which seems to be just up here. Um, I think it was, oh, was it? I can't remember who it was that told me about when they said about putting them on the lip. I thought they meant this lip here, they meant this ledge here, because that's kind of where the trigger seems to be up here somewhere. Um, but anyway, like I say, plugging away. Now my concern now is this, to make this so I balance my books back up again, once I've put all these through I need to sell the BGA again, because I don't, obviously that's all on loan, then pay the loan back. Now I'm assuming, there you go, 49,000, I've got to stop there or turn the time up to times five. Um, I've, I'm worried that if I sell it back I should still get paid because I'll have put all the bales through by then at midnight and I don't want anything glitchy or weird to happen that because I've sold it back and I don't then get paid at midnight I should do there's no reason why not and people will say well obviously you will nothing is obvious in this game anymore <laughs> nothing is obvious nothing is a given nothing is as it was is should be would be you know forget everything you knew before it's a brave new world so Let's turn the speed up uh, to times five. That will process quicker. I think that last one didn't register, did it? That's my own stupid fault. Oh, am I going to make a loss now? Actually, that does not seem to be going down as quickly as it always used to when it was on times five. Anyway, I'll carry on, time will chug away, I'll get all these bales in and then the next time you see me, hopefully I'll be selling the BGA, paying off the loan and then it will get to midnight and we'll see if we made any money. Then tomorrow I'll plug away, I'll get some harvesting contracts done, I'll do some more fertilising and we'll carry on building the money up. If field uh, nine's regrown again, there's no reason at all. This is the sort of thing you can come back to if you've got a spare <laughs> five hours. That you come back and do this as regularly as you want. Um, if you haven't, then you know obviously that's still not very really, easy yet. Let's take another balance. It's going to take quite a while. I don't want to turn the speed up too fast because then it will get to midnight before I've got all the bales in. That's a bit of a worry. Hmm. Right, well, so next time I see you, this pile will be down. Will we make a profit? Can we make some money? Yes. Well, I seem to say it every episode, but, you know, good profit. Let's say that. A nice, tidy, hefty profit. Actually, while we're on the subject of hefty profit, what are we looking at for our crops? Sunflower? No. We've got corn yeah, it's kind of on the way up oh blimey well you never know at some point at some point
This is so frustrating. I couldn't get them all in. I had the digester running as fast as I could. How much have I made so far? 153,135 so far. Oh, loan interest. Oh, man. If I'd have got that all done, so that means two bales going in here were a waste of time. And these four I won't get paid for now till tomorrow. Well, tonight, technically. Midnight tonight. Oh, how frustrating. Yeah, I had it turned up and the digester just wasn't munching through them quick enough. I had four bales left to put in and that was it. But that's not bad. 153 grand. Once this one's gone in, or these two have gone in, um, then I'll pay off the loan. Oh, I'm so annoyed about that loan interest. If I'd have got it done before midnight, that would have all been paid off and I wouldn't have had to pay the interest on that. Still, it covers the leasing cost of the equipment I used because I used the Fancy Pants baler the baler wrapper and the Ursus T127 which I didn't get rid of that was sat there I just got charged leasing fees every hour I just realised what a muppet I've been paying hourly oh no it's operating hours isn't it but I did get paid for another day I paid charged for another day which I didn't need to never mind right done Let's turn that back to real time. Yeah, times five just wasn't cutting it. On um, FS17, if you turn the time up to times five, especially if you were selling silage with a conveyor belt from a bunker silo, that just chewed through it. That would plough away. But I suppose because you're putting 4,000 litres in, I suppose technically every few seconds, it just can't keep up. Um, so having it turned up to times 15, it was going better, but I just ran out of time in the day that's a bit frustrating so here's what I'm going to do now then not that oh actually yeah that menu I'm going to give that back oh and I still have the combi plow I was going to use that as well wasn't I and to be fair the leasing fees on that aren't mega expensive but it's little things like that that you make an error and you forget and you get clobbered for it uh, sewing, not touching up the barge pole, fertilising, baling, harvesting, transport. Uh, there's a few different ones there. So let's repay this and get rid of it. What we end up with. Oh no, what I should have done first. <laughs> I'm looking at it thinking, hang on, the, the finances, the maths don't add up. That's because I've still got this, haven't I? Um, so, what I need to do, click on that and sell it. <laughs> That's what I should have done first. Now go back to the finance seat. I'm all of a fluster now. Um, and repay that. Fifteen, ten, five. <laughs> 173,000 in the bank when we started off lunchtime-ish we were on 26 and I've still got 4 bales worth which is only going to be about 8 grand to come um, I'm more than happy with that to be fair I don't need the rear lights on do I'm just driving back um, that's not bad I'm, I'm more than happy with that 173,000 why did I not do that day one <laughs> should have done but to be fair day one I didn't know then what I know now all the little you know loopholes and oh going the wrong way pick up my fertilizer sprayer sprayer um, so yeah that's worked out really really well I just wish I'd have started that earlier in the day because if I'd have got those last ones in I wouldn't have got charged four grand interest on the loan that I had on the on the biogas plant so but that's again it's neither here nor there really is it when you've made that kind of money but I could have been on 177 instead of uh, that's not bad for an afternoon's work well an afternoon and evening of getting rid of bells in the BGA um, not quite BGA busting 
but not bad. Tomorrow, more of the same, let's make as much money as we possibly can. I think we might buy some more equipment, increase the farm. I'll be using the harvester, the new harvester, which I haven't used yet. We will get to use, I think. Uh, possibly even buy a new tractor. I don't know, I'm just thinking. Is this all regrown yet? No, but it is growing, so, you know, there's always the potential to come back and do that off screen like I say if you've got a few hours because it does take quite a while um, and to be fair I didn't use hardly any fertilizer fertilizing that field yeah 3,000 3,200 3,500 3,500 or 3,007 I don't know was it 2,200 and 1,500 yeah 37 so we used a thousand liters doing that field which wasn't too bad but anyway that's it for this episode I head off to bed slightly richer than I was earlier on today, still got crops to sell, still plenty of contracts and jobs to do and we will be able to expand our little slice of life even further. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, if you have give us a like, if you don't subscribe yet please do, if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest, whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching. <laughs>